Welcome back to Hyperlight Drifter. The game where I yell very loudly. Episode 3 of a lot of games seem to be where I start yelling. Um, I, I was like that on sta Snake something as well. Wait, there's a bar? Huh. Okay. Apparently there's a bar. Okay, so we're going into the red area. Or not. I thought this was where I was supposed to go. I like that I can access a lot of areas, like I, I can um, teleport to a lot of platforms, that is very satisfying, like this. Oh, these edge things, this edge moss is really, especially the this side one here, I, I like. Because uh, I'm not a fan of how straight everything is, uh, a lot of it is very right angly and uh, I like uh, I don't know something to cover it up a little bit more maybe Well, okay. So... Maybe it's because I'm missing a dot? Or maybe I'm supposed to do something with this? I am miss- oh, I am missing a dot, so... We'll go after the, the one dot that I'm missing. Maybe- maybe that's what I'm need- that's what I need. Um, I think there's a lot of emphasis put on games that are hard, but not a, not a lot of emphasis on why they're hard, and difficulty is not, like, it, it's not always the same. Uh, different games are difficult for very different reasons, and that does affect enjoyability, you know. If a game is difficult because it has difficult puzzles, that's a different different feel than if it's difficult because um, uh, there are a lot of enemies that you have to to be super precise to to destroy. Um, level design matters. I've mentioned in uh, that I don't like Mega Man Nine because I don't like the level design in Mega Man Nine specifically. Um, they they said that they hearkened back to the olden days, but they they didn't because they they made a lot of pixel perfect jumps in Mega Man Nine that didn't used to exist, and that matters. That makes a that makes a whole a uh, whole lot of of uh, difference. Well, that looks strong. Okay, so it is the same ammo. Good to know. Trying to reach this, so I'm guessing it's gonna be here, maybe.
At least you... Oh, no. At least you restart in the last area that you entered. Oh, wow. I got lucky on that one. Okay, can I turn on the light? Yeah, I don't know who decided you have to grab four yellow things to get one big yellow thing, but it takes three of them to get an upgrade. Like, that's... A weird design decision for sure and I understand why because some cost two some cost three I don't care it's weird I don't like it Light, let there be light, please. I'm dropping blood because uh, I'm wounded. I was really hoping that I had activated the light here. Yeah. Oh. The fourth crystal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. That was something. Did it heal me? It didn't. All right. Probably shouldn't. Yeah, I should probably just leave. <laughs> yeah, both times I I did not catch that this was a a deadly trap both times. Okay, let's uh. I believe I'm supposed to go down here because it's the only crystal that's lit. Yeah. I mean, I could probably do this. Or I can't. 
Wait, okay, yeah. Maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to do something else. Yeah, okay, I'm probably supposed to do something else. Uh, let's figure out what this is. You can do three um, consecutive dashes like these, and then, uh, and then it stops you. Yay! Okay. <laughs> that sucks. Cast out of the city like that. So I can go into the side areas a little bit, but if they're locked, then they're locked. And that's not good. Good thing I didn't die there, that would have frustrated me. Every area has its own color palette. Yeah, movement is really slow. I definitely want faster movement in general. I don't play games for realism. I play games for... Um, get the term. Fantasy something. Live out your fantasies. Oh, there you go. Oh, so I was supposed to... Wait, what? I was supposed to be here. Huh. Well, now I'm really interested. So nothing really guided me here. So I'm curious to see if I go to the right, if, if I can go right. Huh. 
also if I don't teleport to the middle city, I don't get healed. If I just walk into the city, I don't get healed. Which is bizarre. It seems like a an omission. Oh, this has such a Zelda feel. So I guess I can go... Maybe I didn't have to go up earlier. Maybe I could have gone to the sides as well. I like the fact that there's a lot of, um, it's not a lot of straight movement. You, uh, you do have to zigzag around and do that sort of navigation. And I like stairs. I think since, uh, since our light core, I just like diagonal stairs like these. Hey Frosty, we need stairs in our game. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is cool, though. Imagine that with a cybernetic glow. That would make perfect water. The environments feel like there's more stuff than there actually is. Uh, I don't think that's necessary. I, I think it's better that than to for them to feel empty. Feel empty. Yeah, it needs stairs. And um, I, I I hated myself for the stairs in their like core, but I, I I love diagonal stairs like these. Like the the sense of height. It makes the game feel less flat. You know what? 
right. Uh, I'm not gonna continue since I since I unlocked it anyways. I'll just go on and uh, go to the other side and unlock the other side as well. It'll allow me to to see more of uh, either side. A lot more foreboding. I don't know what, what it is about this blue, but it looks so much more foreboding. I guess it's a darker color, maybe. I already came here and I completely forgot. I thought I had not crossed the bridge. He's afraid. Look at that. If you kill enough characters, in some cases, they become afraid. Huh. I like that. Not initially really smart afraid, he just doesn't attack, but still. I think I have to kill him. I think I, I think I might not have a choice. I was gonna spare his. Oh well. Okay. I thought I, I thought I had to kill him. Don't blame me. Blame society. Yeah, like this, this is kind of a a square well, uh, because everything is square. I'm, I'm less inclined on, on that. Doesn't mean go for pure round shapes, but at least octagonals or make the, the corners. Um, I am completely unable to use that skill, except now. Okay, I'm supposed to hold the button. I don't know what this is. I guess I'll find key nodes at some point.
this is the kind of environment that's a little bit more difficult to create in uh, in uh, procedurally uh, procedural environments they're not square they're you know depending on how you make your navigation they're very dense and deliberate Oh, come on! So, I hate my special move because my special move it does not trigger a lot of the time. It did now, but it often doesn't. And I think it's, it's a very specific timing that you need to have. I just wanted to make my move, man. These are interesting. I wonder if they're loading sections. I don't think they are, but I really don't know. Oh! Not yet an upgrade. I keep expecting the railgun to kill in one hit, but it just deals one damage. Oh wow, these crystals regenerate, so a great way of re-earning bullet power of course killing enemies with bullets is not a good way to keep it where So oddly violent. Like it doesn't look like it's gonna be as violent as it turns out being. Yeah. I don't know if these deal one or two damage. Okay, I just wanna... You know what? Heal. I guess it's worth killing them because you, you earn upgrades, but... There you go. I was aiming. I was actually aiming for the map. There we go. And uh, I think this is going to be the end of my run for now. Um, Hyperlight Drifter.
it's an interesting game. It's one of those games that you can actually play for 15, 20 minutes because it does save often. It does it does a good job on that. It saves often. It goes back and and um, you know even though I compl even though I complain because there are some long sections. Uh, at least it saves on every screen, so that's very good. Um, it's very difficult. The uh, the the boss that I fought felt disproportionately difficult to the rest of what I fought up to that point. But you know, it's it's a good game, and I I understand why people love this game. I'm certainly I want to thank uh, Frosty Forty for giving me a copy of this. I definitely see the interest i think there's a lot of cool things in this i think um there might there, there are a few things that i don't like that i want to improve upon um and we're gonna we're gonna cover all of that for sure uh but yeah thank you very much for watching my name is kevin jagger and i'll talk to you guys next game peace out hey guys thank you so much for watching you know the drill be sure to like comment and subscribe and be sure to check out some games i've made like our light core all right, until next time, peace out.